This video shows you how to add a new air conditioner model to a manufacturer database for use in RHVAC. Let's take a look at the loads of the current project. Click the Load Preview button in the toolbar. This is a one system project with a load that is a little under two tons. And notice that our calculated cooling airflow is 732 CFM. Let's open the system data window and select a furnace and an air conditioner. Click the equipment tab. The current database is the fictional quickcool.mdb file. So we will first select a furnace from that file and then later select an air conditioner from a database with real models. Click the more button. Click the select heating equipment menu item. Double click one of the furnaces listed in order to copy its data to the system data window. You can see that the furnace's information has been copied to some of the equipment inputs. But not all inputs are applicable to each model type, so some of the inputs have not been filled in. Now let's download a real manufacturer's database from Elite Software's server. Things will work out a little better in this process if we go ahead and close the Find HVAC Equipment window now, so close it. Click the Help menu. Click Check for HVAC Equipment Update to open the Update Manager program. Let's scroll down and get the HIL databases. Check the Install Database checkbox for HIL. Click the Install button. Click the Start button to download and install the databases for HIL. Your system may prevent the download and installation process from working. If so, then go to EliteSoft.com and download your database files. Click Close and also close the Update Manager program. Now we want to open the HIL.MDB database file in the Model View program. Click the Tools menu. Click Manufacture Database Model View. Note that you may also open Model View from the Elite Software section of the Windows Start menu. The current database is HIL.MDB. Let's save this file as a new name in order to prevent it from being overwritten in the future if we were to reinstall the HIL databases. Click the File menu. Click Save Database As. Name the file myhile.mdb. This will make it so if you ever install the HIL database in the future, this file will not be overwritten. Click Save. We want to add a standard air conditioner so we can leave the model type input set to air conditioner. It's important to remember that all of the work that we're about to do in adding this air conditioner to our database has to be done only once. Once we add the new model to the myhile.mdb database, we can easily select this same air conditioner for any RHVAC projects we do in the future. Click Add New Model to add a new air conditioner. Now let's go to the ahridirectory.org website and select a Heil air conditioner for our project. To begin selecting an air conditioner, click Product Type. Click Residential. Click Air Conditioners and Air Conditioner Coils. Click AHRI Rating Conditions. Set the outdoor unit brand name to Heil. Remember that our system has a load of 1.68 tons, so let's set the minimum capacity to 22,000 BTUH and set the maximum capacity to 24,000. Click Search.
Notice that the model status for most models visible is production stopped. Let's sort by that column in order to see models with an active status. Click the model status column header to sort by that column. Remember that our project's calculated minimum cooling supply airflow is 732 CFM. So let's select this model with 750 CFM. Copy the condensing unit model number to the clipboard. Now let's bring the model view program back to the front and paste in the outdoor model number. Paste the outdoor model number into the first two inputs. Bring the ahridirectory.org website back up to the front. Now let's copy and paste the indoor model number. Now let's complete the combined model number by adding a plus sign and then pasting the indoor model number. Next, we will copy and paste the total capacity. The units need to be MBH instead of BTUH, so insert a decimal place three digits from the right. Copy and paste the SEER2 value. Copy and paste the AHRI reference number. We have two sets of sensible and latent capacity inputs. The sensible capacity and latent capacity inputs are supposed to be just nominal values that come from taking the nominal capacity and splitting it up into sensible and latent values that are based on a typical percent sensible capacity, such as 77%. If your manufacturer does not provide performance data at your design conditions, the nominal sensible and latent capacities may be acceptable, depending on your local authorities. The adjusted sensible capacity and adjusted latent capacity inputs should be obtained by getting the unit's performance data for your design conditions from the manufacturer. Let's fill in the nominal sensible and latent capacity values by taking the nominal capacity that we got from ahridirectory.org and splitting it up into typical percentages of 77% sensible and 23% latent. Open the calculator program. Enter our nominal capacity of 23.80 MBH. Multiply that value by 0 0.77 to get the nominal sensible capacity. Our nominal sensible capacity is 18.326, which is based on the unit's total capacity being 77% sensible. Enter 18.326 for the nominal sensible capacity. For the latent capacity, let's take the total capacity and subtract the amount we entered for the sensible. So the latent capacity is 23.8 minus 18.326 equals 5.474. Let's fill in the adjusted sensible and latent capacity inputs using Heil's online app that calculates performance data for each unit. First, we'll go to Elite Software's website, EliteSoft.com. Move your mouse pointer to the Downloads menu. Click Expanded Ratings Data. Scroll down to the section about the manufacturer Heil. Click the link for the ICPEQP.com website. Click the Heil logo. Remember that our project has a total cooling load of 1.68 tons, 
so select 2 for the tonnage input. The unit we selected earlier begins with N4A5S, so select that option for the Outdoor Model Series input. There is only one selection for the Outdoor Model input, so leave it as it is. Click Display Ratings to generate a list of all the models that meet our criteria. In order to find our model, we need to search the page for its AHRI reference number. Click the web browser's Edit menu. Click Find in Page. Paste in the AHRI reference number that is still in the clipboard from earlier. Click the Performance Calc button for the model. For the adjusted sensible capacity and adjusted latent capacity inputs in model view, we want to use the design conditions of our project. Notice that we need to enter the outside dry bulb, the inside dry bulb, and the inside wet bulb. Let's return to our HVAC so we can get those values. Click the Design Conditions tab on the General Project Data window. Elevation is 322 feet above sea level. Summer outdoor dry bulb temperature is 96 degrees. Click the Design tab on the System Data window. Our summer indoor condition is at 75 degrees and 50% relative humidity. Since the Heil Online app requires the indoor wet bulb temperature instead of relative humidity, we need to calculate the wet bulb. There are many ways to calculate a single psychrometric point, such as free online apps, but we'll use the HVAC Tools program from Elite Software, which is very easy to use. We have a sample project already open in HVAC Tools. Click the Project menu. Click Psychrometrics State Point. Click Create New Case. Our elevation is 322 feet. And our indoor condition is at 75 degrees dry bulb and 50% relative humidity. The calculated wet bulb for our indoor condition is about 62.5 degrees. Enter 96 degrees for the outdoor dry bulb temperature. Now enter 75 dry bulb and 62.5 wet bulb for our indoor condition. Click Calculate Capacity to get our sensible and latent capacities that have been adjusted for our project's design conditions. Copy the sensible capacity to the clipboard, return to model view, and paste it in. Paste in the adjusted sensible capacity, then add the decimal point three digits from the right to account for MBH units here. Do the same thing for the adjusted latent capacity. Click the OK button to save all of our changes and close the air conditioner's window. Now that our new air conditioner has been added to our myheil.mdb database, it is saved permanently so that we can select this same model for any RHVAC projects we do in the future. That means if you install only a few different air conditioner models in your business, you only have to add those few models to the database once, as we just did, and then they will be available for any RHVAC projects you do in the future. We need to close the Model View program before selecting a model in our HVAC, since the database must be closed when we do that. Click the Equipment tab on the System Data window. Click the Cooling tab. Click the More button. Click Select Cooling Equipment. As you can see, there are 32,377 units in the list, so we need to refine our search to more easily find our new model. Enter the first few characters of our outdoor model number in the model input. Click Find Now. 
double-click our new air conditioner that we added to copy its data to the system data window. We can see that all of the information for our new air conditioner has been assigned. With the adjusted capacities now assigned to our system, let's see how easy it is to do a manual S evaluation. Click the Manual S Performance Data button. The first step is to click Copy All to Design in order to assign values to the design column of the interpolation conditions. The design column is now filled in with values from our project. Click the Simple Mode Options button to set our Manual S data to Simple Mode, where only one row of data is required. Click Set to Simple Mode. This will uncheck all boxes in the Design column of the Interpolation Conditions area and enable only one row in the Interpolation Values. If our manufacturer did not provide us with an app that gives us performance data at our design conditions, then we could use the nominal sensible and latent capacities. But since we do have performance data that has been adjusted for our design conditions, we'll use the adjusted values instead. Click Copy Adjusted. This will copy the adjusted sensible and total capacity values that we determined for our project using the Heil Online app to the first row of interpolation values. The first row here now shows the adjusted total and sensible capacity values that we got from the online Heil app. And we can see that our total capacity is 111% of the load, which means that the air conditioner is 11% oversized, which is within the range of what is acceptable in the Manual S publication. Let's take a look at our selected equipment in the reports. Click Select Reports. We only want to see the reports that show the selected equipment, so click Clear All. Check the boxes for the three main reports that show our selected equipment. Room Load Summary, Equipment Data, and Manual S Performance Data. Click Preview. Click Next Page. Click Next Page. Thanks for watching.